Alrighty, hey guys, it's Think Outside the Cube. I'm gonna do an unboxing of my iPhone 6 that I finally got in the mail. Um, a little backstory. I ordered this phone nine weeks ago. Um, it was probably about a week or so after it came out. Um, put an order in at my local U.S. cellular store, which is a regional carrier. And, um, nine weeks later, I finally have the phone. As you can see, I did get 64 gigs. I mean, I don't need 64, but they got rid of 32, and it's the same price, so why not? Just 16 isn't enough for me. But as you can see, they significantly changed the box this year. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure you all have seen unboxings of this phone. Like, and plus, if you haven't, you know what comes in the box. But you know, no graphic on the front, just iPhone on the sides and nothing on the top or the bottom. And then the back just describes the model you got and stuff like that. <clears throat> so pulling the lid off, you can see I did choose space gray. Um, I liked the white front of the silver model, but I hated the back of the silver model. I really liked the, um, the darker color that the space gray gave you. And plus, um, I don't know. I don't really care. It's just a phone to me. Um, look, coming farther in the box, um, tray cut out for your camera because it protrudes now, if you didn't know that. As you can see, it protrudes a little bit. Designed by Apple in California. Every day of the week, you know. Um, SIM card ejection tools. Some um, some carrier models aren't including those nowadays. Um, no iPhone tips and tricks as they usually give you. Um, they actually have an app on the phone now that actually shows you that. So none of that. iPhone regulatory information about warranty and Apple stickers. So push all that crap to the side. Um, here's your Apple EarPods. Um, they're, they're, they do fine for me. I still have my pair for my other phone. Um, power brick. I mean, we all have like 10 of these already. And then your lightning cable that's like 5 inches long. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, it's like 3 feet long. But that's still way too small for, in my opinion. So I always have to order like the 6 foot one. But, yeah, that's basically it for the unboxing. Now let's look at the phone. Now, as I said, I did get Space Gray in 64 gig. Now, the antenna bands, it doesn't bother me as much as it bothers other people. I mean, the, um, the HTC M8, the HTC One, they all have antenna bands. And then when the iPhone comes out with them, everyone flips out. So, I mean, it doesn't bother me. I think it looks fine. I mean, how many times are you going to look at the back of your phone if you have a case on it? Um, but as you can see, I do have a screen protector on it. I actually, um, I f probably about two hours ago, got back from Radio Shack, and I picked up the Invisible Shield Glass, and, um, it retails for, like, $35 for a freaking like, piece of glass the size of this piece of paper, and I was like, no. So, um, I pulled it up on my phone while I was there, and I was able to price match it for about $17 off Amazon. So yeah, Best Buy does it, Radio Shack does it, Walmart used to do it, but they don't, they won't do Amazon anymore. But yeah, so I was able to get this for like $17.50, and it's well worth the money. Um, you can see I lined it perfectly up here at the top, if it'll focus, it's, it's focusing on me, not... As you can see, aligned perfectly up here, and then down here it is off-center just a slight bit, um... Trying to get it to focus. But as you can see. But um, it works perfectly. <laughs> and um, it really doesn't reduce any sensitivity whatsoever. So there's that. Um, I would definitely recommend this. On my Galaxy S4, I actually had the, the HD one. And I liked it too. But um, I definitely prefer the glass. Now, as far as cases I have for the phone. Um... Right here I've got two. I've got the Ultra Hybrid for the iPhone 6. And it's basically just a bumper style case with a black or a back protector that's clear. And um, the only thing I don't like about it, it's hard to like feel the buttons. Because as you can see on this one, the buttons are actually like raised. But on this one they're not. They're just little... Um, like indentions. 
So this one, I mean, I actually only ordered this one, but since this one was on back order, Speedgen sent me this one about a, after a week and said, we, and we're sorry, you know, we want, we know that you want your phone protected, so we're going to give you this one for free while you wait for this one. So, I mean, I'm not complaining whatsoever. But there's that. Um, both of them are just fine. I've got plans to, or for Christmas, I asked for an Otterbox Symmetry case and a Tech 21, like ballistic or whatever type of case. But the iPhone 6, I'm definitely getting used to the size of it. As you can see, here's my iPhone 5C that I had before. And um, <clears throat> there is a significant size difference. But it's nothing that would warrant you to not want to upgrade, in my opinion. Um, of course, all the people at school that have 5S's are like, Oh my gosh, it's too big. I mean, I would never want that. But they're only saying that because they're just jealous. Um, or that's what I think. Because in a year from now, they're probably going to get the 6S. And they're going to be like, Oh my god, it's the perfect size. But you know, that's just... That's just them. And they can say that all they want to. But um, the size comparison, I mean, it is significant, but I mean, I like the larger screen. I think it's, I mean, this is what I wanted in, a, um, in an iPhone. And now when I come back to using this phone, it's just, it feels extremely small. Kind of like when you went from an iPhone 5 to... A 3GS, it was, or a 4, or a 4S. It was just kind of like, whoa, how did I use this? And that's what I'm like when I have this. So yeah, it's definitely the new standard for iPhones. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they came out with a 4-inch iPhone 6, just because there are that few number of people that don't want a bigger phone. Bigger is better, in my, in my personal opinion. But um, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I mean, I'm sure you've seen unboxings before, but, I mean, there's my take on it. So, yes, that is basically it for this video. Um, I'll probably upload this and a car video today, just because, I mean, this isn't my regular type of video, and I don't expect my subscribers to watch this. But, you know, whatever. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.